science couldn't explain it. But there it was, alive, in the deep, deep waters of the Amazon. A throwback to a creature that had existed a hundred million years ago. Immensely strong and destructive. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Sound of music. Ah. God wants to sing every song it Guten Tag. Guten Tag, boys and girls. Sprechen die Deutsch? Nein? Then I speak English for you, my little friends. Hello. It is the principal in Leiterhausen, and I'm here to tell you a story about the origins of the principal in Leiterhausen. Yes, there was a little minx by the name of Sylvia Milliken. I think back to that time of Sylvia. Sylvia in Leiterhausen. Think back, Sylvia. Will you excuse me for a moment while I slip into something a little bit more? Comfortable? Bitter, baby. Oh. <laughs> uh, why don't you uh, loosen your bullets? No, no, you mustn't go. I, I need you. I never met nobody like you. I can't live without you. Du hast gemacht mein entire Leben. Please, you're making a German spectacle of you. Now I am a professional. I do my best to support all my teachers. So when word got out about the principal in Leiterhausen, I wanted it to be quiet. I was busy. I was doing observations all the time, and I'm not good. I'm late. But word got out, Sylvia snitched and told this little Irish-Polish girl, so funny in America, you have these funny names, Glowaski. She told Sylvia about the principal in Leiterhausen, and Sylvia, she ratted me out, and then Denise, Glowaski sought me out. And she says to me in my last year, I need motivation. I need the motivation of a German, a German man in Leiterhausen. I said, no. One time only do I motivate in the last year. But she begged me. She showed up. She sent me pictures of ladies in Leiterhausen. She also brought in a funny little man named Hank. This man, Hank, I did not know him. He was different. He was tall, bald, mustache, 
Kind of looked like Kilroy, if you know what I'm saying. And she says, Mr. Lutz, observe me. Observe me in your letter, Hosen. I said, nine, no. But she's influential, you know. So I worked at it. They invited me to the house, and it was a gourmet meal, of course. Many dogs they have. I do not understand. Dogs, cats, cats, dogs. Dogs, cats. And Hank, there he was. So cute when I showed up to that house. So I watched. And I watched. And I observed greatness. Magnificence. And I wore my letter hosen for Denise Glowaski. So to motivate her in her final year of greatness. I am not proud of the later hosen. No, it's embarrassing. I looking a little heavy in my later hosen. I saw some of the videos early. I, I need to lose a couple. But all just the same, that Mitchell, that Mitchell made me do this. She influenced me. But all the same, I may be back. But probably not. Miss Fiori's seeing this right now, and she's saying, what is wrong? <laughs> what have I done? So to Denise, knowing that this may be the last time anybody sees me in the principal in Lettohausen, I will pay you a tribute. A tribute. <laughs> a tribute with some umpapa music and a little bit of little hosen dancing. Ah, ah. Mm, we love Denise. Da, 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 da,